Hi there friends, this is Josie G and I wanted to show you a couple of things real quick. I'll make it very brief. Um, first of all, a couple of outfits and then the bed and a new member of the Larkin family. Well, actually two new members of the Larkin family. So, <laughs> um, outfits. This was an Our Generation outfit and it actually fits, I think she's about a 16 inch doll. I don't know if this is Sweet Sue or the other girl is Sweet Sue. Um, it's a vintage doll, just like Mrs. Larkin. She's a Betsy McCall doll. And the only problem is, is that I'm going to have a hard time finding shoes for her because, as you can tell, her feet, they look dirty. They're not. <laughs> I assure you that they're not, but it's this angle. Um, she was cleaned and everything. There, of course, they require high heels. So, but these little um, slippers fit her very well. This is... Um, the, the our generation outfit fits her really cute very good and this is there the it's a dachshund so I thought it fit perfectly in this era of Mary Ellen because as she know you know she has a dachshund scooter I have her dachshund but it's kind of hidden in the bottom of my dollhouse which I have to move so and I can't get to it right now because um, the crib, uh, my reborn crib is in front of it, so I have to rearrange all that. So anyway, I'm using instead this little guy, this black and white guy, he's pretty cute. Um, but the, the dog, the little stuffed dog, comes with it. Isn't he cute? So this outfit is four pieces, the top, the, the pants, the slippers, and the little dog. Okay, so now this is Carolyn. She is about 14, I think, and she is Mary Ellen's older sister. As you know, Mary Ellen's about nine, nine or 10. Okay, um, now, next, we have, now, as you can see, uh, Mary Ellen switched outfits with, um, and it looks beautiful on her, too, um, with Melody, who is now her best friend, her BFF. <laughs> and um, Melody looks stunning in this outfit. I bet they would both look really great in it, but I think the pink actually fits Mel Mary Ellen's color tone a little bit better, her, her hair and everything, and the red really pops against Mary Ellen's skin tone and her hair and everything else. It looks really wonderful, and so does this blue. Um, that looks, the it's like a teal blue or what have you. It looks really great against her. Um, it, it's just wonderful, and I love, look at the shoes. They are super cute. Now, the only problem with some of these Our Generation shoes that you're going to find is that the ankles on the AG dolls are too thick. So, they don't quite uh, attach with or without socks. It doesn't matter. They don't quite attach. So, I left her socks on and I just put the shoes on and you can't really tell. They're fine. Um, for play or for just photographing, what have you. And then this is her dog my version of Bojangles because he was only like six dollars at a grocery store and I thought oh wow he's too cute and he was a lot cheaper than the $22 version and American Girl so now this is her Bojangles her bow okay now the third thing I wanted to show you or fourth thing actually I guess I, I was the bed what I did is this is that little bed from Mexico um, Mexico. <laughs> um, it's um, it's short. Uh, that was the only thing. And I did put when I put it together, it kept wanting to fall apart. So I went ahead and got my Gorilla Glue out, and you have to um, moisten the whatever you're putting together, moisten it, and then put it together. That's what makes it adhere. So I did. I moistened all of the four ends and then I stuck it together and then I pushed it together with two chairs so that it would stay that way overnight and then I also actually put the trunk this little blue trunk and this chair on top of it to keep it stable because it was doing and now it's firmly flat oh wow that's so wild because I thought I'd have to prop a little pretend book underneath one of the ends but I didn't have to do that but look at all the it's really fine craftsmanship and I got it for like five dollars at the thrift store. They had three of them. I only got the one because I, I have a lot of beds and I don't want a ton more beds. I should have just gotten one for a giveaway. But 
um, I'm on a limited budget as well. And I was going to paint it maybe white, maybe later on, I don't know, but I was going to think about using this for Josefina's bed. Even though you can only sit in it, it's okay. And I didn't put anything, any bedding or any mattress on it for right now because I really wanted you to see what it looks like. It's very cute. So it's perfect for doll play. Of course, you can't stand or sit on it because it's very fragile. But it's it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty sturdy here. You know, look at that. Okay, last but not least, here is this, I believe, was a maybe Felicity doll. Um, because she has green eyes and reddish hair and she has very loose legs but I got her off eBay like two years ago and she was my doctor um, oh my goodness I had a name for her anyway I decided to keep her or use her flip her her hair was flipped anyway I flipped her hair up because somebody had cut it so um, I went ahead and decided to use her as my Joan. Um, she's the older sister, and I don't have any of the babies or anything because there's, you know, the two babies in um, that Mrs. Larkin has as well. Well, Mrs. Lar Larkin's lips right now are sparkly. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but they are. I can see that. Um, so since I got the vintage doll, which it's good to have kind of mix and match if you can. As you know, Big Mama. Um, Melody's grandma is a vintage doll. I love to mix the vintage with the regular dolls because it just adds such richness. And since I already had Mrs. Larkin as Mary Ellen's mom, um, it was kind of cool to find another vintage doll to be one of her sisters. And so um, to find this Felicity doll, which I think I'm pretty sure she's a Felicity doll. Um, as that was already you know kind of used up and haircut and all that kind of stuff as her sister another sister that is perfect so there yes you know the the color ranges in hair and eye color you know you've got the greens and the blue and then the the brown which she's more of a hazel actually for Willa or now she's Beverly um, that's it's fine it's perfect because actually um, uh, Beverly's hair is reddish like Mary Ellen so they look you know and then you've got the variations because you will in a family of anyway you have you have variations in a family anyway so that that works out perfect yay okay in some families you will in other families you'll have all blondes or all brunettes or what have you you know that's the way it goes. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching, and um, tell me what you think, um, what you think of their outfits and the bed, and the new um, Joan and um, Carolyn right here, and then um, of the little, the little um, Bojangles and that sort of thing. All right, thanks so much for watching, and take care and enjoy the pictures at the end. And I'm sorry I went over. I wasn't going to go this, this long. All right, take care. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. My blog is behind. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye-bye.